Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Incase Nobi 22 inch hard shell travel luggage. And you may be wondering why we're looking at a rolling suitcase on the channel. After all, we're really big one bag travel enthusiasts and travel backpacks is still my go-to way to travel. With that being said, my main goal on the channel is always to help you travel and move about your day to day as efficiently as possible in the way that's best for you. And honestly, one bag travel isn't going to be the best system for everybody or every specific situation. For people that do a lot of work travel or if you have to travel to colder climates or if you carry a lot of camera gear while you're on the go, fitting all that into one bag is going to be a little bit tricky. On top of that, during one of our recent trips, we were traveling with pretty heavy backpacks and near the beginning of the trip, my wife actually hurt her knee. So I ended up having to carry two large travel backpacks for a big portion of that trip. And that really made me kind of rethink the idea of traveling always with one bag, especially if you have any injuries that might make it a little bit more difficult to deal with some of the weight that comes with a heavier bag. So even though I won't often travel with a rolling suitcase, I did want to start taking a look at at least a few different options in case you were looking for an alternative from some of the travel backpacks that we typically feature on the channel. And I chose to start off with the Novi suitcase here because I'm a big fan of Incase's products. We've looked at a bunch of them in the past. They have a pretty nice build quality. I really like the overall look. In particular, this one is just a very clean, minimal and professional looking roller suitcase. And on top of that, it had some interesting features that made it stand out a little bit from some of the other similar suitcases that I've looked at in the past. And so I'm excited to share it with you guys and talk a little bit about my experience using a rolling suitcase as opposed to my typical travel backpack setup. And so let's just jump in and take a closer look at the Incase Novi 22 inch hard shell rolling suitcase. Case. Starting out with the outside of the luggage, the Novi suitcase has a very clean and minimalistic look. No sort of outside pockets, just a very plain exterior. There's just one simple in-case logo here down towards the bottom, but definitely not super prominent. I'm a big fan of the all black color that you see here. I think it gives the bag a very sophisticated look and it also makes it look a little bit smaller, but it is offered in a variety of colors, including a blue and a red. And so if you wanna see more of the color waves that are available, make sure to check out Incase's site. As far as the materials on the exterior, it has this durable feeling polycarbonate shell. This feels like it's gonna be pretty resistant to dents from bumps. However, it does feel like this might eventually start to scratch up a little bit, especially if you have to check this for whatever reason, it does seem like this could attack some scratching. And it also seems to attract a fair amount of fingerprints. So if you're somebody who likes to keep everything very clean, this could get a little bit annoying, but for the most part, the materials itself feel pretty durable. To help keep the exterior of the bag looking nice, Incase has actually included a protective nylon case which wraps around the suitcase. And this isn't something that I think I would necessarily travel with, but if I was storing this in my closet when I wasn't using it, this is gonna be nice to just keep it covered to prevent dust and scratches from accumulating all over the outside. So nice that this was included with the cost of the luggage. Moving on to one of the most important parts for any rolling suitcase is the wheels. And I really like how these were implemented here. They have a hubless system. And so far they've rolled very, very smoothly no matter what direction you're using it. So if you're pushing it ahead of you or if you like to pull the suitcase behind you, so far I haven't felt them get stuck. It's just a very smooth ride. So I've really been impressed. And then a nice bonus here is that you have the ability to remove the wheels by pressing this simple button. So this is gonna be great if you need to repair one of the wheels or also if you wanna save a little bit of weight or height from the suitcase you can just take those off and toss them into your backpack or even inside the suitcase itself and the one thing that it particularly caught my eye about the Novi luggage was how flush the wheels sit against the suitcase so with rolling suitcases that have these four wheel styles I've seen that many times they tend to be very tall and so you lose a lot of height to the suitcase which is going to be tricky when you're traveling on airlines that have stricter height restrictions when this wheels are really long or tall it can be tough to fit this into the overhead storage compartment even when the luggage itself actually adheres to the 22 inch limits the wheels might come down a little bit lower making it a tricky fit so really like how flush the wheels are here so far compared to the other suitcase that i typically travel with it's about the same height but i feel like i'm able to fit a little bit more in this suitcase because the wheels are actually closer together to the bag so just really impressive design and performance on the wheels. So far, the bag has been very smooth all throughout, no matter where I've been rolling it. As far as the capacity, the 22 inch version of the Novi that we have here has a volume of around 41 liters, which is plenty of space for traveling for a couple of weeks. And I was happy to see that this meets the carry on limits for most domestic airlines and even some international ones. In the footage that you see here, I have this standing next to the luggage that I've been using for the past couple of years whenever I've needed to travel with a suitcase and I've never had to check that luggage. So very close in size. I haven't traveled on too many airlines with this just yet but so far I haven't run into any issues and because of the similarity in size with my other suitcase and the success that I've had carrying that one on, I'm confident that I'll be able to use this for a lot of different airlines easily. 
With that being said, I'd still be really hesitant to travel on the smaller international airlines such as Ryanair or EasyJet. I feel like this is definitely something that would end up getting checked. On top of the fact that the sizing is gonna be kind of on the border with what they'll typically allow you to carry on, I also feel like the weight would be a little bit of a problem. The suitcase itself isn't necessarily heavier than any other rolling suitcase that I've used, but these suitcases may always have a little bit of extra weight as compared to something like a travel backpack just due to the fact that it's gonna have wheels and plastic and handles and metal, so it's just got a lot more stuff than your typical travel backpack, so that's always gonna make it a little bit of a concern to meet those stricter requirements. One thing to note while we're talking about the size and dimensions is that there is a little bit of a disadvantage in my opinion to having a hard shell roller like this one. The suitcase that I showed in the footage that's the one that I've been using for the past couple of years is not a hard shell bag. It actually collapses a little bit around the items that I'll pack in it so it molds a little bit more when it's a tighter space. I can kind of squeeze it in whereas the Shape and volume with the hard shells are a little bit more fixed. They're very rigid. There's no flexibility in what you could store, which is gonna be good for keeping the stuff inside the bag protected, but it just gives you a little bit less flexibility whenever you're trying to fit your bag into a slightly tighter space. Moving into the top, there's a very simple and flexible top handle, which is nice and easy to get under and grab. This is gonna be very useful for whenever you need to drag this up a flight of stairs. The handle itself isn't super padded, it's pretty plasticky, so it's not gonna be that comfortable if you have to hold this with a lot of weight or for a longer period of time. But for just picking it up briefly to put into an overhead storage compartment or to walk up and down some stairs, it should be okay. The suitcase also has a very nice collapsible and expandable handle. So it has a very simple button here that you push down to pull it up and this feels very secure. It has a few different heights that it can adjust to. And so here it is at its maximum height, making it very comfortable for me to hold. I'm about 5'11 and a half, so this is a great height for me. But if you're a little bit shorter, you can actually move this down to a lower height to make it easier for you to roll. So very impressive how secure the handle locks into each specific height. And it's nice to have a lot of versatility in the different heights that you can set this at. The width of the handle has also been really nice. It's very comfortable to grab. You have plenty of space, even if you have a larger hand, but it also works well with a variety of luggage pass-throughs on the backpacks that we've looked at on the channel. So I particularly enjoyed pairing this with something like the Air Tech Pack or even the Dayfarer backpack. They both combine well with the clean look of the bag and the handle is a perfect size for their luggage pass-throughs. The last thing I wanna talk about before jumping inside the luggage is this integrated TSA approved lock on the outside. It's really convenient that this is actually built into the suitcase. I can't count the number of locks that I've lost or how I can never seem to find one whenever it's actually time to travel. So very nice to just have this built right into the suitcase. It works very well. It's just a simple combination lock. You can flip this switch and the lock opens very simply. So I've liked how well this has worked out. This feels very secure. At the end of the day, this isn't gonna stop somebody who's like super determined to get into your suitcase, but for the most part, it's gonna offer a nice amount of deterrent and also be easily accessible to airport security if they need to get in for any reason. The only small concern that I would have here with this lock is that this does seem like a piece of the bag that might be more prone to breaking, but it's nice that because of the amount of space here on the zipper, you could actually hook these two together with a traditional lock and you'd still have a pretty decent amount of protection. And for the most part, the quality of this locking mechanism feels pretty good, so I don't think it's something you'll have to worry about regardless. In order to get into the main compartment, there's a zipper that goes all the way around to let you open the suitcase up flat. The zipper itself feels pretty solid. It doesn't seem to be YKK or anything like that, but it does offer a nice amount of weather resistance. And so opening the suitcase up, you can get a look at the inside. Plenty of space here. As I mentioned earlier, 41 liters of space between the two halves. And I really like the very simple style that InCase has chosen to go with here. It gives me a lot of flexibility in how I can organize all of my stuff. And so first up, there is a little flap here that helps keep the items in this compartment in their place. You can tighten this up to make everything a little bit more secure or you can loosen it to give yourself a little bit more space. And so there's just one simple mesh zippered compartment on the flap. And so currently what I have in here is just the laundry bag that InCase actually includes with the Novi suitcase. So nice little bonus addition there. This is also gonna be a great spot for maybe putting some smaller accessories like your underwear or your socks or maybe even some cables. And even if you choose not to use the pocket, it's nice that this divider is here to just kind of keep things easily accessible from each side. And so this divider is held in place by these two simple clips. They're very easy to open up when you want to get into this side of the suitcase. And so currently what I have in here is my larger double-sided packing cube that you've seen in all my other travel bag videos. And then I also have my nomadic toiletry bag, which I've been using a lot recently. 
And even with the items that I had in there, I still had plenty of leftover space if I wanted to put in another pair of thinner shoes or some flip flops. Now with the compartment empty, you can see there's just this small zippered area here that you could use for some small accessories if you wanna put some toiletries in there or some medicine. I chose to leave this empty as I would probably carry most of my smaller accessories in a day bag that I take with me with this suitcase. But besides that, no additional organization or straps in the compartment, no compression straps, just a very nice, simple polyester lining and plenty of space for you to organize everything that you wanna take with you. Moving on to the other side of the suitcase, this is another large, simple compartment. This one has a mesh zippered flap keeping everything in place, but it's nice that you have the mesh so you can see what's inside the compartment. And so opening the flap up, currently what I have in here is just my smaller packing cube with my underwear and socks and other small clothing items. And then I also have a pair of Toms that I take with me on every trip. And then I have another flatter pair of sneakers, my Penguin Chiller shoes. So as we saw with the other side, very simple layout, no compression straps or internal organization. And there was also a nice amount of leftover space here. So if I wanted to toss in an extra pair of shoes or a jacket or even a packable day bag, something like the Air Go Pack, there would have been plenty of room for that. If I needed to throw in some pouches to hold some of my electronics, there would have been some space for that as well. But when I travel with a rolling suitcase like this, I'll typically have a day bag with me. So I'll probably keep all of those smaller accessories there and easily accessible during the flight. So really great job all around of keeping things simple and just offering a ton of space in a sleek package. One thing that I will note about this style of opening for a suitcase is that it can be a little bit annoying to have to lay this down and open both sides up. Because of the flap and the zippers, everything is kept very secure, so it's not like it's gonna fall out, but it is a little bit more convenient sometimes to just have the suitcases with the style that just has a flap that you open up simply, much like the Penguin suitcase that I showed off a few times during the video. I've gotten very used to traveling with that type of style, so in my opinion, that can be a little bit more convenient, but so far with the benefits that this suitcase Case offers I think it's been a fair trade-off and if you're looking for a stylish durable and versatile carry-on that comes in at under a hundred dollars this is definitely gonna be a good option to check out and so to wrap up it's been a pretty good experience testing out the in-case Novi the suitcase has a really solid build quality a nice look it performs really well and it actually comes in at a pretty reasonable price and so you can purchase this on in cases website or on Amazon for about sixty dollars which is definitely in line with a lot of the other travel luggages that I've looked at in the past I've had a few different rolling suitcases throughout my life and they've usually been between the $40 to $70 price range. I'm definitely not one to splurge on this type of suitcase. And so it was nice to see Incase coming in at that $60 price point, making it a pretty easy choice among lesser known brands that you'll typically find in something like Ross or Burlington. If you're somebody who maybe wants something a little bit fancier, Incase does have a more advanced version of the Novi suitcase that comes with a removable power pack and it has some additional features and it's gonna come in at closer to $300, so definitely a little bit more of an investment and I really just didn't see the additional value when this suitcase already offered so many great features at the $60 price point. And so since I typically focus more on travel backpacks and don't use rolling luggages that much, I haven't had a chance to maybe test out some of the newer bags that have come out, such as the luggages that Away offers. Those are some of the more popular ones that I've seen recently and they have a nice design. From what I've seen in other videos, they have a pretty solid build quality. They come with a lot of interesting features. They have the removable power bank that the more expensive of the in-case suitcases has. And so the Away suitcases seem to start at around $200, so a little bit more expensive than this. I'll be curious to try that out in the future to see if you get a lot of value for the additional expense. But for the most part, to me, they seem fairly similar. And if you're on a little bit of a tighter budget, the in-case Nobi is gonna be a good alternative to something like the Away suitcase. And although I haven't had a chance to test them out, I did see the Kickstarter videos for Nomadic's new rolling luggage, and I'm very curious to try those out when they become more easily available. They seem to have a lot of interesting features. There's a few things that I preferred about this one over the Nomadic bag just off the videos alone. And the Nomadic rolling luggage does seem to come in at a higher price point as well. So if you'd be curious to see me do a full review for the Nomadic travel luggage whenever I'm able to get one, please let me know in the comments. Going forward for most of the trips that I take, I'm still probably gonna lean towards traveling with just one bag. If you're newer to the channel and you're curious on seeing some of my favorite one bag travel backpacks, I definitely recommend you check out the videos that we've done for bags like the Air Travel Pack 2 or the Nomadic Travel Bag. Also, if you're a fan of Incase's designs and you don't want a travel luggage such as this, I definitely recommend you check out the Incase EO Travel Backpack, which we featured on the channel, or the Incase Tracto Duffel, which has been one of the better travel bags that we featured throughout the past couple of years. But for trips where I have a little bit of extra stuff to take, or I really just wanna take a capable day bag with me or carry a lot of camera gear, this is definitely gonna be a good option to have. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think about the Novi suitcase and about traveling with a rolling luggage such as this as opposed to a normal travel backpack. 
And if you guys enjoyed this type of video and you'd like to see me feature more rolling luggages on the channel in the future, or if you'd like to see me do some videos on my setup when traveling with multiple bags, please go ahead and give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.